On today's adventure, we head out spearing off Coffs Harbour. Meet up with Liam and Tommy to see if we can get our hands on some wahoo. As you can see, that Spanish mackerel swims by, and not too far behind was a fairly sized bronze whaler. And in this case, I probably would have shot that Spanish mackerel if that bronze whaler wasn't there, but he was, and it just wasn't worth it, so I let it swim away. As you can hear, I'm making a grunting noise at Tommy, who's already taken a duck dive down. There's a Spanish mackerel swimming past, and I'm pointing and grunting, signalling to him that there's a mackerel. But he's not after mackerel, he's after wahoo. So he points at me and signals me to shoot the mackerel. Right, I'd just like to say a big thank you to um, Tommy and Liam, these are legends, for taking me out spearfishing, shooting that massive mackerel, that's awesome. And a special thank you to Tim McDonald. He is a true legend, that bloke. Thank you very much. Yo. A Spanish mackerel. Should we get a thumb, mate? Yeah. Firstly, we start off with sharp knife, like one of these, these are Starret, Starret, these are a Starret, hunting knife, I got the kit, so you just start off like that, don't go too far because the gut cavity is just here, stand around, and I like to start here, Yeah. Oh, fig that! I would have died. <laughs> After a bloody wicked afternoon, we head back to camp and start cutting up this Spanish mackerel. I make a little bit of a mess of one fillet, but then I get it good on the next side. Oh well. I'm cutting up this mackerel to put in numus, which is like an acidic cooking method that they use with like limes and onions. Just cooks in its own juices. It. It's really good. Can you even chew that? After me and the dog gorged ourselves full of ceviche chippies and mud crab crackers, we called it a day. <laughs> 